in goal. Now, most of these players have been off for a couple of weeks. Some of them have been traveling on vacation. They come back now to get together for this match. As we'll see what level of interest these Spanish players show in this matchup. As for Colombia, well, they are fielding a very strong team here. The captain, James Rodriguez, as we were saying, left out completely by Real Madrid on Saturday. He plays, as does Juan Cuadrado of Juventus, who was sent off, having come on as a substitute in that final. Radamel Falcao, who was looking washed up a year ago, is back in hot form. His goals helped Monaco. They mean business with this selection, Ali, don't they? We were talking about it earlier, is that you don't get the opportunity to movement by Iago Aspas, Koke to play it inside, good tempo to Spain's work, Iniesta with that ball through, David Silva forces one save, has another opportunity and there's yet another save by Ospina. He talked about the penetration pass and disability of Andres Iniesta and finding David Silva who's in an onside position, Colombia stops playing, David Silva has three chances at it, First is blocked by Ospina, then falls back to his left foot again, doesn't hit it cleanly, and then once it falls to his right foot, there's no chance he's scoring. Albania, Macedonia, and Liechtenstein don't provide much, don't provide much resistance, and so you're forced to. Falcao's got a chance here on the rebound. He says he was fouled, but the flag is up, I think. For an offside before that good attacking on the counter there first of all arias with that move down the right hand side and then the goalkeeper reina not holding this and yes that doesn't even bother about stepping up to the shot cuadrado hits it well it's knuckling it looks like Piquet takes falcao down however falcao wants to dart between those two defenders pedro has been so positive all season big part of Chelsea winning the title in England. Pedro does well. Every time he gets the ball and he's confident on the ball, his ability to create separation from himself, defenders back off of him, and at that point he's able to cut inside. Doesn't hit it very well with his left foot. Hammers comes across as a player that perhaps needs a, a pat in the back, needs a hug, a little, little, bit, a little bit of loving. A little bit of TLC. Aspas. Pedro again with the early ball. And that's crossed the line. David Silva again for Spain. It's a lead they definitely deserve. Fast move. Lovely early ball in from Pedro. And David Silva's touch was just enough to defeat Ospina. We've talked about it, the transition of Spain in becoming a possession-oriented team and then finding opportunities to get forwards. And Iniesta is trying to recover from a knock. But this is direct, it's quick, it's first time passing, it's movement in the box by David Silva. It's not a whole lot of touches. It's one and two touches, it's direct, it's down the line by Pedro, and good touch by Silva who gets across Davinson Sanchez. David Ospina unable to react on time, can't get there, one nothing. Good goal by David Silva and tremendous ball of this one by Pedro. Good redirection by David Silva. Goalkeeper's got to do a bit better than that, hasn't he? Well, he, <laughs> it's, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's, there's never a breather. And Colombia would suggest... That was Aspas on the near post with Coque's ball in. Coque in an advanced position. We we're talking about him and his ability to attack and join in the attack with Spain. And again, it's a first time ball into a dangerous area. And Diago Aspas tries to go with a fancy little touch, a little bit of filthiness. Perhaps if he <laughs> keeps it a little bit simpler, opens up his body and tries to go to the far post. This version of Colombia is mentally tougher and willing to grind out results in South America. Let's see if they can grind out something here is Cardona. Pointed inside, James Rodriguez! Oh, well, that's what he can do. Pure invention. Lovely little cameo. And it's in a tight space, in a tight area. It's good movement down the left-hand side. But the ability of James Rodriguez continues to be the playmaker for Colombia. The cutback, and dressing is not exactly the best defense. I mean, you sound it's excited about dull. it. It's never dull. It's never dull. It's a chance here for Colombia. 
and he's here as well. Cardona with the final touch. PK couldn't clear it from the line, and Colombia get their equaliser in the 40th minute. Edwin Cardona is the scorer, only his fifth goal for Colombia. Pepe Reina and Cesar Afilicueta have a word with yourself. This comes from nothing. There's a ball popped in into a dangerous area. Not much from Cuadrado. Afilicueta thinks Reina has it. Reina doesn't have it. He thinks Asfilicueta has it. You got it. I got it. No, he's got it. Cardona's got it. It's a good finish by Cardona in the end. Like, come on. Juvenile defending from everybody involved, including Pique, Asfilicueta, and Reina. But Cardona with a resourceful finish, and Pique cannot clear it up the line. Even he might have done better as well at the end there. It wasn't easy. Might have taken the lead, and then a mix-up in the Spain defense leading to an equaliser by Edwin Cardona for Colombia. All to play for then in the second half. We'll be back in... And Colombia were at their best when they picked up the intensity and, and how aggressive they were on the tackle. That seemed to spark Colombia and they got better as the half went on. Ian Dark with Alejandro. He started the season, announced himself with a goal in the European Super Cup and there might be an opportunity here. Saul couldn't turn on it quickly enough to fire that home. Knocked to the head for the goalkeeper. And as good as Marco Sensio is, he's got to be able to complete this pass. It's wide open. Saul Niguez is waiting for the cross. Ospina doesn't do well with the initial cross. Gets Murillo's knee right to his face. Marco Asensio does very well, bounce, unable to do so, goes off the side of his foot. And there still might be something. This time it was Peckham, and he did take Argentina to the quarterfinals of the World Cup, as well as Colombia. Argentina, you might remember, were knocked out on penalties by Germany that year. And there's another goal for the Colombians, and it's Falcao leaping like a salmon to hammer his header into the net. And Colombia have come from one down to lead 2-1. Couple of things. There's a well-driven ball initially by James Rodriguez to the back post. The movement of the ball by Radamel Falcao gets inside of his defender as Spain prepares a couple of substitutions. But the movement of the ball by Falcao, his ability to get in front of his defender of Aspilicueta, gets inside of Aspilicueta, and then the powerful jump, powerful header. Good luck with that, Cla Pepe Reina, never getting there. Aspilicueta cannot come across Falcao. A couple of things that you need. Of a Sancio again towards Coke. Guillermo Mendes ball in, and it just flashes wide off Morata's head. Just as we were saying that Colombia had gotten themselves back into the game and deservedly so. It's a good service in. Morata just redirects it to the back post. Glancing header, not too far. Espino was just looking at it. He was never getting there. <laughs> it was close to the end of it. Maybe he creates space for himself or for De La Feo. Instead, he's whining, he's complaining, and the opportunity is gone. Not too many of Spain's supporting cast have really put forward a convincing or coherent argument for themselves in this second half here. Saul, and there's the equaliser! Morata with a very, very clever header. They look to be going nowhere in this game, Spain, but Morata there, that was the deftest of headers. And Spain do get a late equaliser. Well, I guess if you're going to do that with a header, then you can want and complain all you want, Alvaro Morata. It's good movement away from the ball by Alvaro Morata inside the 18-yard box. Goes well in getting across the defender. We talked about the Colombian defenders not reading the play very well. But this is a fantastic header by Alvaro Morata. Gets across his defenders. A good ball by Saúl Niguez. What a header that is by that Morata. Is 
That is fantastic, Ali. He's in front of the near post. He has to get the... He doesn't want to see any more. 2-2. It is thoroughly entertaining game. Spain taking the lead. Colombia coming back to lead 2-1. But then a late goal, a splendidly taken one by Alvaro Morata, who's much in the news at the moment.